Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about using bulk writes in MongoDB. Now, bulk write is basically a special function that we can use in MongoDB where we'll be able to combine a bunch of different database requests into one single request. So I could ask MongoDB to insert something, update something, delete something, and then insert something again, all in the same request. And so the idea is if you have a bunch of stuff that you need to do, you can put them all into a bulk write, and then you only have to make one trip to the database and Mongo will do all that for you. So over here, I have an example of a bulk write that I set up. Now, the actual um, layout for these can be a little bit tricky, so I kind of just pasted one in here, and you can find the code for this in the description below, but I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through one that I already wrote, and that'll kind of give you an idea of how these fit together. So we basically just say db.students, dot bulk right and then down here we're going to create an array so here i have an array and then inside we're going to create little objects and each one of those objects is going to have uh you know one of these commands so we can do like insert one insert one update one delete one replace one we can do all these different things um, all these different operations that we would normally do in mongodb but they're all contained in one single request so down here we have insert one and what this will do is it'll actually insert something into the collection. Now it's important to note that bulk writes can only be done on one single collection. Um, so this would insert something into the student's collection and then down here I can just say document and I can specify what I wanna insert in. So this is basically gonna insert in student with the name Andrew, major architecture GPA of 3.2. So insert one here, we'll just insert one single document. And then you'll see I have another one down here, it's the same thing, so I'm inserting another document and down here it just says document, name is Terry, major math, etc. So these are two examples of how we could, you know, basically insert two different records uh, in the same bulk, right? And down here I have update one. So I could insert two and then I could also update one. So here I'm basically saying I want to update one. The filter is for the name Terry. So I'm going to update an entry Terry and I'm going to update to uh, set the GPA equal to 4.0. So if there's any students in there named Terry, then the GPA is gonna get set to 4.0. And you'll notice over here that we're actually inserting a document with the name Terry. So uh, this document will actually get updated when we do this. So then uh, down here I have delete one, so we can delete one from the collection. And again, basically all we need to do with this is just specify a filter. So I can just say filter and then put the filter over here. So I'll delete anyone with uh, the name Kate, or at least I'll delete one with the name Kate. And then finally we have replace one. So here we could also replace one and down here we have the filter just like we did with delete, but then we also have the replacement just like this. So I'm replacing any entries with the name Mike to have this right here. All right, so let's take a look at our current database schema. So in the last tutorial, I actually deleted a couple students, but we have a bunch of different students here. So for example, we have this student Kate and we have this student Mike and the Kate student is gonna get deleted and Mike is gonna get replaced. So you see over here, we're deleting Kate and we're actually gonna replace Mike with Jenny. And then we're inserting two records and we're also updating one. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and we're just gonna place this over here on the command line and I'm just gonna hit enter and you'll see that we get this message over here. So it's basically telling us what happened. So it gets acknowledged. We deleted one and we inserted two and then two got matched. So you can see how all of that stuff got displayed. So let's go ahead and take a look at MongoDB Compass and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this and you'll see now we actually added in two of these. So Kate got deleted. If you notice, Kate's not here anymore. Uh, Mike got updated to Jenny, who's a counseling major with a GPA of 2.4. We added in Andrew, who's an architecture major, and we added in Terry, who's a math major. And you'll notice over here, Terry's GPA is a 4.0. But when we initially inserted Terry, her GPA was a 3.8. So Terry didn't initially have a 4.0 until we updated her uh, using update one. And so that kind of gives you an idea of how we can use bulk writes. So really the whole idea of a bulk write is like if you have a bunch of stuff that you want to do, uh, you can save yourself a couple trips to the database by combining it all together in the same bulk write. And that way you only have to make one trip and then Mongo does everything you need it to do um, as opposed to making like, you know, four or five trips to the database. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.